Hello, my name is Lee Evans. I'm an application engineer for XAIR. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a regular super air knife into a super ion air knife, which will help eliminate static. It's a very easy process, and if you have an air knife in house already, all you need is an ion bar, a mounting kit, or applicable number of mounting kits, a 1 8 and a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. In the mounting kit, there is a shoulder with a button head cap screw and a quarter twenty button head cap screw as well. In addition to those things, you'll also want to have one more quarter twenty button head cap screw or bolt to ground the ion bar to the air knife. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is flip the air knife over. On the bottom of the air knife you'll see quarter twenty mounting holes spaced every two inches. These mounting holes line up with the mounting holes on the ion bar, as you can see. The shoulder will install onto the air knife. Install both shoulders. After the shoulders are installed, you can mount the ion bar. Now that these are mounted, go ahead and tighten all the bolts. Last, but definitely not least, ground the ion bar to the air knife. And that's it. You may wonder why you would need to convert an air knife into an ion air knife, and there are several reasons. Perhaps you've had a production change or a machine change, and as a result, you have static induced into your application. You can take the existing air knife that you have, install an ion bar, and get an ion air knife with effective static elimination. But how do you know? How do you know if you need to install an ion bar on your air knife? And there are a few ways to determine that as well. You can use a static meter to measure the charge, or you can monitor your quality control to see if you have any kind of dust or any kind of adhesion of any particle due to static. If either of those are the case, you can convert your air knife into an ion air knife. You'll be good to go. If you have any questions, contact an application engineer. Thanks.